Welcome back to the channel, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Around. Today we are looking at another Hero Watch. Specifically in this box is a VS11-2, and this will be yet another giveaway. Now the watch we're talking about today is not a luxury watch by any means. It's more on the very affordable end of the price range at just above 50 bucks or just below 50 bucks depending on what time of year and what time of season you're looking at this watch. I will leave a link down in the description below. Basically what they have to offer in this Hero watch I would say is even better than the $150, $200 movement and Ventura watches out there. So if you're going to have this as a comparison it's going to be a comparison to a fashion watch not necessarily a watch that's established in the watch world like a seiko or a tussaud this is going to be a comparison to a fashion brand all that being said again this is going to be a giveaway watch i will give it to one of you guys as one of my subscribers, as one of the viewers of this video, you just need a couple things. You need to be a subscriber, you need to make a comment down below in the comments, and you need to like the video. Those are the three things, and as long as you do one of those three things, I will pin the comment of the winner at the top of the comments. So if you go back to the beginning of the year when I started these giveaways, you can see that the comment pinned is at the top of the comments. I'm not gonna you know, do anything special. I'm not going to make a special video. All I'm going to do, because I have so much stuff to give away, is just pin the top comment as the winner. So make sure you guys are going back to those videos and checking the pinned comments. Then you guys are going to shoot me an email. Then I will send you the watch. Now let's just talk about this watch as a whole. This is not going to be a super long video because there's not a whole lot more to say about this watch that I didn't say about the first Hero watch that I reviewed. There are a few differences. The fact that this kind of looks like a travel watch, it looks like a GMT or it looks like a World Time because around the outside chapter ring it does have the names of cities but that is just an aesthetic. In no way is this an actual World Time. That being said, I did tell you that this is a comparison to something like a Vincero or Movement. Now this is a solid steel 316L stainless steel case which is good to see at a price point at 50 bucks. Honestly, at a price point around this, which is the ultra or super affordable, normally if you look at something like Timex, it's going to be brass that's going to be coated in steel, or it's going to be like a similar material. It's not actually going to be solid stainless steel. This thing actually has some heft to it, which is actually good to see when it comes to, again, an affordable watch. So it is solid 316L stainless steel. It is plated to look like rose gold, so it is plated, and it does have an odd hue on the mineral glass. They say it's blue electroplated. I don't know what that necessarily means. I did some research and they say the blue electroplating is similar to, I guess, an AR coating. It's just uh, on the more affordable end. So it does have a very blue hue when looking at it offset in the light. Now this watch does measure 44 millimeters in diameter, 13.3 millimeters thick, and the lug width on this is 22 millimeters. So I can't put a chase strap on it. But the strap that comes on it is exactly what you'd expect with an ultra affordable watch. They say this is calf leather, but it is the lowest in calf leather you can find. So know that the strap will need to be replaced in a couple months if you wear it every single day. It's gonna start breaking down, but that's just what is to expect on a watch at this price point. Also, that being said, spending 50 bucks or getting this watch for free from me or spending 50 bucks on this watch if you want something that looks decent on the wrist, again, that's still a third of the price of a baseline movement watch which offers similar quality. So remember when I'm talking about all this stuff that seems ultra affordable, all this stuff that may need to be replaced in the future, well, it's also a third of the price of fashion watches that are out there that people are spending money on. So if you're gonna spend your money, you might as well buy something cheaper that looks just as good, if, if not better quality than those other fashion brands. Now, one of the things about this company, especially the Hero watches, is they use wood inlays around the bezel. So this does have a black wood inlay around the bezel, or they tell me it's a wood inlay. I'm not really sure if it's wood or if it's rubber. It doesn't really have a rubberized texture, so I, I'll just take it to their word that it is wood. It doesn't look too bad. I like the, the break that it has. Um, in the dimensions of the rose gold plating on that stainless steel case and the blue hue 
and the black dial of the face, so it does give it sort of a nice little break to the eye. I think it's very pleasing to the eye. On the back, it does have a screw down case back and it does have a laser engraving of the world. Again, I think they're going with the, the design of a world time with all the names of the cities around the chapter ring. And let's just talk about that dial real quick and the sub dials on this watch. One of the things I don't like is the fact that the chronograph feature is actually the small seconds at the six o'clock. So the main timer or the main second hand is actually the center second hand, which is normally not used on the chronograph function. But instead this one, they have the chronograph function as the six o'clock position as the seconds timer, which I just think kind of is weird. And then you have the hour timer at the nine o'clock. Then you have just a 24 hour timer at the three o'clock. It does have a date just below that timing seconds, just above the six. But overall, the dial looks what you'd expect on a chronograph. Chronographs are never going to be clean. They're never going to be sterile. They're always going to feel slightly cluttered. And that's kind of how this feels. It feels like they needed to go slightly above and beyond with adding all the names around the outside chapter ring. I think that was kind of unnecessary. Um, but they're again going with what feels like a world time feel on a chronograph. It's not necessarily bad. You just have to want something like that to find it, you know, advantageous for your styling wants or needs. It's not necessarily good for me. Like I don't necessarily like the dial. I think it's a little, a little overly done, but it does have recessed sub dials. The dial's not too bad. It does have a slight um, sunburst on that black, whereas it could just be a flat matte black, but it's not. It's got a slight sunburst. It's got a blue hue to the mineral glass, and they say that that hue helps when it comes to reflecting the light, so it's sort of like an AR coating, and it does have an unknown quartz chronograph in the back. I couldn't find anywhere the quartz chronograph that they used. I assume it's just a budget quartz chronograph, but like any quartz watch, the battery is going to last for a couple years, so you're not going to have to worry about resetting the time for a while. Now, this is just a quick review, a watch on the desk and something I can give away to one of my subscribers. I have a lot of videos on a lot of watches coming up in the future. I have two other Richard Meal homages. If you saw the last video of the Wish do it Richard Meal homage that was a $250 quartz watch I have a $350 $400 automatic Richard Meal homage then I have a nearly $700 Richard Meal homage after that I have a red I have a green and then I have a lot of stuff on this desk to review there's going to be a video a full review that comes out every three to four days then I'm going to release a shorts video every single day so that you guys have some content every single day now my goal is to kind of grow uh, this channel and feed the algorithm with more content so I figured I'd give you guys some shorts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my catalog of old videos I'm going to reclip them and put them in shorts that are less than a minute long so expect those every single day now if you like videos and videos like this again I have a lot of videos coming up in the future make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell make sure you guys are leaving a comment of the content you guys want to see on this channel I have a lot of dive stuff coming up in the future I just had a couple dive companies reach out to me to do reviews on dive equipment. So that's going to be more towards the spring, but I have a lot of watch stuff here on the desk and I would love to give it away to one of you guys. So make sure you are, you're a subscriber. Make sure you guys are leaving comments in the videos and making sure you guys are going back to those videos where I'm doing giveaways so you know that you've won one of those giveaways. Now I'll give you an example when it comes to the Axwell uh, copper, $100 copper wallet. I only had maybe five or six people comment in the comment section of that video, which means you have a one in six chance of winning that wallet. So make sure you guys are watching those videos because I'm giving away a lot of this stuff because, you know, I'm trying to give back to you guys. 2023, the year of giving. Let's grow this channel and I will see you in the next one.